Uh, there's the 64 bus behind me and I'm here at Stazioni Termini. This was the place that I first visited uh, when I stayed in a hotel just around the corner from here. Uh, those days were very, very different indeed. They were days before HIV was known, uh, days before AIDS had been labelled. And yet now, all these years later, yes, the world is a very different place. Uh, gender issues in Italy are different. Sexuality issues in particular, very, very different. I've not been to any gay bars since I've been here this time. Um, that sounds like I often go into gay bars whenever I'm here. No, I don't. Uh, no, so I haven't. But it is noticeable that, yes, gay bars do exist. I'm not sure where they are, but I know there are maps to show, yes, there are gay bars here. But on that first visit, uh, oh my gosh, no, there would be no such thing as that. Um, there were some notorious cruising areas, especially for soldiers trying to pick people up, um, and especially for money. But... Uh, for anyone that knows me, you'd know I'd be far too frightened to do anything like that. So, yes, sexuality issues have changed uh, over these years indeed. Yesterday, I saw a beautiful sight of two men walking down the Aventine Hill, hand in hand together. It really was fantastic. And I thought, well, here we are in so-called Catholic Italy, and that's the acceptability now of walking out in public holding hands. Yeah, because around the world, in you know, London included, yes, there are safe areas to walk hand in hand with the same sex partner, uh, but there are lots of areas where it wouldn't be safe, and I'm sure the same goes here for Rome too. Now, this is more like the 64 that I've told you about in that WordPress story. I won't go back into it here, but uh, feel free to check out the WordPress page. That all happened when I was 30, but uh, things are very different now. Um, it's crowded on here. There used to be 99 people. I don't know how many it is now. There are some Holy Sisters on here as well, but not the nuns of Mother Teresa. Check out the WordPress page. Um, but it's really significant the way in which things were conceptualised then and yet now today would be very different indeed, especially in these days when we uh, talk more openly then about such issues as sexual harassment and non-consensual uh, sex. So frottage, that's how it would have been seen in those days, you know, somebody rubbing you up on the bus. Um, wasn't pleasant, wasn't asked for, but it happens. Now today, um, I don't think the toleration would be there for that sort of thing, and I certainly haven't seen anything like it. But on saying that, um, I was walking back to my hotel, which is just around the corner from Stazioni Termini here. I was walking back to the hotel last night, and there was a woman, probably I guess about my own age, she was standing on a corner, smoking a cigarette, and as I walked by, she just said, like, uh, um, ciao bambino. Uh, and I walked past and I thought, oh, I know what she was trying to do. Um, it happened to me once in Soho. I was walking down some of the side streets and there was a woman standing in a doorway of a building. And as I walked by, she just said to me, do you want to be a naughty boy? And I looked at her and I said, well, only if your brother's inside. So I go back to London tomorrow after having an exhausting but really great few days, uh, learning so much as I've travelled around and I've made loads of videos because of the uh, National Teaching Fellowship money that I had to share learning outside the classroom. And part of that has been to learn some new technologies which I'm hoping to put the videos to good use with. So um, I keep saying goodbye all the time on these videos, but yes, goodbye from Rome.